Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another concept that is HTML text formatting. Normally, we know that HTML is intended for writing the text data, so the text document, right? So, how to format this? How the formatting will be done in the HTML? Let's try to see in this video. One of the HTML's main job is to give text structure so that a browser can display an HTML document the way its developer intends. This is the main job. So the text structure, the structure of the text should be in a such a way that the, how the developer intends to show that to the in the web browser. So that is that that structure need to be provided by the HTML. So first one, what we need to learn is the headings and the paragraphs. So we need to have the difference between the headings and the paragraph in the HTML. Most structured text consists of the headings and the paragraphs. Whether you are reading a story, a newspaper, a college textbook, or a magazine, etc. So for every for every data, for every article or anything, so we need to have a heading and a paragraphs. So this is the thing. Now if you try to see here the news news newspaper here, if you try to see the structured content makes the reading experience easier and more enjoyable. If you try to see here at the top, you'll be able to see the titles, and here you'll be able to see all the titles and the content you will be able to see as the paragraphs. So we need to have a we need to have a clear differentiation between the titles and the paragraphs and the content. So this this type of structured content makes the reading experience easier and more enjoyable. In an HTML, each paragraph has to be wrapped in a P element like so. So this is how we will be wrapping. So P, I am a paragraph, O, S, I am. Okay, like this. This is the content and anything, any data, any content, any paragraph you want to write it, you need to wrap it with a P element. And each heading has to be wrapped in a heading element like this H1. I am the title of the story. So this is the title. So for anything, if you want to have the, if you want to write the title in the HTML element, in the HTML document means you need to wrap it in the H1. So there are six types of heading elements present in the HTML. Those are called as H1, H2, H3, H4, H5 and H6. These are the six heading elements. Each element represents a different level of content in the document. Okay, each level represents a different level. H1 represents the main heading. H2 represents the subheading. H3 represents the sub subheading and so on it will go up to H6. So that means H1 is the main, it will have the main uh, main heading. So the, if you have, you are having a main heading in the HTML document means it should be represented by the H1 and again the, in that main heading if you have a subheading means it will be H2 in that subheading if you have a sub subheading means H3 like that you need to go on like this you will be having you can mention up to six headings like that in HTML. It's really up to you what the elements involved represents as long as the hierarchy makes sense. You just need to bear in mind a few best practices as you create such structures. So it's really up to you. So what type of element you want to use. So for example, you can use H1, H2, H3, any element if you want to use, it's up to you. But we need to keep in mind that some of the best practices need to be followed. So these are some of the best practices. You, I, I, can, I can't tell you that you should follow like this only, but it is a nice things to follow. First one is preferably you should use a single H1 per page. That means H1 tag should be only single in a HTML document. Document means in that single web page. In that page, there is only there should be only one H1. This is the top level heading, and all other sits below in this hierarchy. Below this, in this hierarchy, so other all headings should should be below this H1 only. So only H1 should be only one in the per page. Make sure you use the headings in the correct order in the hierarchy. Don't use H3 elements to represent subheadings followed by H2 elements to represent the sub subheadings. So it should be high, it should be followed by hierarchy basis, something like H1, next H2, H3, like this. For example, if you follow for the main title H1 and for the subheadings, if you follow H3, and if you go for the sub subheadings for H2 means that does not make sense and will lead to the weird results. It should be hierarchy based H1, next H2, next H3, H4, like that. So you should not use the vice versa like that. So that is one of the best practices. I can't tell you that it should you should use like this only. You can use it, but these are best practices. Of the six heading levels available, you should aim to use no more than three per page unless you feel it is necessary. Documents with many levels, for example, a deep heading hierarchy, 
become unwieldy and difficult to navigate on such occasions it is advisable to spread the content over multiple pages if possible so this is out of the so you are having in html it will provide you up to six heading levels but it but you should aim to use no more than three heading levels why because it is a best practice that it will feel the user reading will be difficult to navigate on such occasions you can if you want to split means you can split the pages into multiple pages so that you can use the heading thing we need to make sure that we are using the correct elements giving our content the correct meaning function or appearance so this is the main thing so we need to make sure we are using the correct elements giving our content the correct meaning function or appearance for example if you try to see in this context the h1 for example if i try to see here i will be opening here so this is our html text now if you try to see here we are having h1 tag which is a title and this is a p tag and here you are having h2 subheading and this is a p tag explanation for that one and here again it is a subheading like this and this is the sub subheading like this if you try to see the output let me show the output here if you try to see the output so the output will be something like this h1 is the main title so the font size is more for this one html automatically arranges the font size for this one and here this is a p tag paragraph and this is the h2 and this is also an h2 and this is an h3 so like this the hierarchy should be followed and the html also gives the font size according to that hierarchy so h1 will be given more font size compared to the h2 h2 compared to the h3 it will be given more font size like this up to h6 it will give the font size h6 has the lesser font size so that user can distinguish between the headings now let's go on to here so we are learning about this one right in this context the h1 element is also a semantic element which gives the text it wraps around the role or meaning of a top level heading on your page for example if you try to see here h1 this is a top level heading if you try to write here you will be able to see it will be given some bigger font size so that we user can be able to understand that it is a title of the html page by default the browser will give it a large font size to make it look like a heading although you could style it to look like anything you want using the css that is a different concept context also more importantly its semantic value will be used in multiple ways for example by search engines and screen readers so for example if you give the title using the h1 okay the html automatically gives you the larger font size and also more importantly the semantic value is more important okay it will be used in multiple ways the search engines also will take into consideration that if any any content you mention is a h1 tag it will be taken as an utmost important and it will and it will also consider that one as a title of the web page on the other hand you could also make an any element looks like a top level heading also consider the following something like span style is equal font size 32 pixels margin like this if you try to give also this span tag also will become it will show it like a h1 tag but this, but this doesn't make any sense why because this is actually span tag you are making that span tag appear as a h1 tag but it, but h1 tag is the main thing which will be considered has the more weightage compared to the span tag this is a span element it has no semantics you use it to wrap content when you want to when you want to apply css to it or do something to it with the javascript without giving it any extra meaning so this is just just a span tag it doesn't have an extra meaning or anything h1 has an extra meaning so that is the thing i want to explain you we have applied some css to it make it look like a top level heading but it is not a top level heading h1 is a top level heading but since it has no semantic value it will not get any of the extra benefits described above it is a good idea to use the relevant html element for the job so this is the thing you need to mention so now you can mention the title using the span tag or h1 tag but h1 tag using the h1 tag has some special advantages like search engine screen readers and all those things will take it as an advantage whereas the span tag you are you are making it look like a h1 tag but it doesn't have the extra benefits this is what i want to explain you about the text formatting in the html hope you understood about this headings and the paragraphs concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you